Good morning, grandkids. This is a surprise today. I wanted to do something for the holidays, so I miss Christmas, but here's New Year's, and I have a few more letters to read and a couple of boxes to open, so I thought I'd do this for the holidays. I hope you'll enjoy it. This time, I'm going to start with the letters because the other time I started with the boxes and I didn't even, or the first time, and I didn't even get to the letters. So that was what I had to do the second time. So this time I'm going to start with the letters and finish with the two boxes. So my first card came from Kansas. It says, wound up in Kansas. Can you see that guy all wound up in that? Bela Hay. <laughs> this says, Hi Shirley, greetings from Kansas. Just wanted to send you a note saying I love your videos. I love Skyrim, but hate gaming channels. Yours is the only one that I like. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> Have a great day, Haley. I think that's her name. I think it's, it's spelled H-A-L. E I G H. I think that's Haley. Well, thank you very much, Haley. I appreciate that card, and I think it's very cute. <laughs> he is. He did wind up in Kansas, didn't he? Okay, lay that one over there. And this one is from the Netherlands. The front of it is in Norwegian, I guess. So I can't read that, but inside, he said, this is the inside. He said, Dear Shirley, the great gaming grandma, I'm a fan of your videos, so I decided to send you a Christmas New Year's card. I'm a 22 year old Dutch guy, so I'm from the Netherlands. Yet, with the power of the internet and bilinguality, <laughs> this doesn't stop me from watching your videos. And I'm so glad because I get comments and notes and things from all over the world, and that's very exciting to me. I hope this little card gives you warmth in these cold times and drives home the fact that you are known and loved throughout the whole world. Isn't that amazing that people all over the world watch my videos? <laughs> it, seems, it seems fantastic to me. And he signed it. He said, if you read this in a vlog, just use my first name. And his first name is Timothy. So I told him that I would only use his first name. Thank you very much, Timothy. I'm glad to get a card from the Netherlands. The next one is from S-P-I-R-K-O, Spirico. Ooh, this is, isn't this pretty? Now, they asked me a question in this that I really don't see about something on the front of this card. So let me read it. Dear Miss Curry, oh my gosh, you're so formal. I'm Grandma, or Shirley. Thank you for the happiness that you bring to me and all your many fans on YouTube. Your Let's Plays and vlogs are a delight. Thank you. I love the disarming honesty and straightforwardness and charm that you bring to the video world. Well, thank you. I can only be me. <laughs> I thought these, uh, oh, I thought these Japanese scenes looked a little bit like Skyrim. Yes, they do. A little bit like Skyrim, except there are no rickshaws in Skyrim. <laughs> Maybe in a mod. See if you can spot the poor soul 
who has taken an arrow to the knee. And see, I couldn't see it. With respect and affection, your fan, Jennifer. And it says, Merry Christmas, Jennifer Spirico. And she gave me her uh, YouTube name. Very sweet, Jennifer. I appreciate that very much. I can't tell which one took an arrow to the knee. The only thing that I saw on there that could be like that would be that one right there that has the dog uh, walking along in front of her that may be construed as an arrow sticking in her knee. I don't know. The other one, I don't see an arrow or anything like one. And I, in that one, I don't see anything like one. So I'm wondering if it's that one with the dog. I guess. I don't know. But thank you very much for the card. I appreciate it a lot. The next one is from... Oh, her real name is on the outside. I don't know if she wants that on there. This is very pretty. This was a Christmas card that she sent me. She says, Dear Shirley, remembering you this Christmas and praying your celebration brings a heart full of joy as you remember God's amazing love shown through, through his son, Jesus. Just a little gift for you. She included a gift in the card. Just a little gift for you in appreciation of your wonderful videos. Of course, a bookmark, since you love to read. And of course, a dragon, for all the dragons that Cadmet has slain and that Gansey will slay. Yeah. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Love and her YouTube name, which you've all seen because she posts a lot, so I know her, is Spiritica Starbreeze. Thank you very much. And look at this. I haven't taken the plastic off of it yet. Let me take it. Well, see, it's too glary. I wish I knew how to eliminate that. I don't see that in other people's videos. I don't think. This is, it's a magnetic book holder. I had another one and I evidently left it on a book when I returned it to the library. So now somebody else has it. But now I have a new, better one. Let me get this off of here. See the dragon? Let me, uh, oh God, there, there. Can you see that now? Isn't that cool? And red and black is my favorite color combination. And this just snaps over a book page and stays like that, it don't fall out. I love these magnetic bookmarkers. And this one, I especially love Spiritica because it's a dragon. Thank you so much. Lay that one over there. And then this one. Uh, this one is from Pamela Goodman. We all know Pamela Goodman. I hope you can see this really well. The card is beautiful. And it's got a little baby dragon on an egg. Isn't that cute? I wish I could have a little baby dragon. And it has a Christmas ornament in it. Since I don't put up a Christmas tree because it's just myself, and my grandkids are always asking me to put up one, but I'm not going to because I'm not spending the money for a tree, all the decorations, and then I don't have any place to put it, to set it up, or to put it away after Christmas. So I don't have one. I don't need one. I go to their house or somebody else's house. 
So this I could use as a bookmark also. Or hang it. It could hang back there in that opening in between my kitchen and dining room area. But anyway, she made me this card. And she made the, there's the inside. Isn't that pretty? The back side. She makes such beautiful things. She and her daughter Jen both. This one's the, well, the card reads well it's too dim in here and and it's too fine and I can't see it. <laughs> but it's Christmas cheer of of peace and hope and love. So and it says Merry Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. All my love, Pam. Thank you so much, Pam. You're so sweet and good to me. I love that a lot. You always make such beautiful things, and I love that baby dragon. And the next one is from, let me see if she gives her YouTube name, because that's her real name. This is from the United Kingdom. Uh, I gotta have some coffee. Yes, out of, out of Camden Grimes monkey cup. Well, I got lipstick smeared all over it. Sorry guys, but I had to have some. There's two pages here and I almost lost one. Dear Grandma Shirley, I know how much you love getting mail, so I thought I would send a letter to you to brighten your day a little. And it does, thank you. So greetings from Southampton in the United Kingdom. Hmm. Fun fact, I am currently writing this while sitting by the docks that the Titanic began its maiden voyage from. How cool to know that. It's nice to know where you're writing this at. The sun is shining, but as is typical of England, it's quite chilly. So I'm bundled up in a hat and scarf. So I can just see you there sitting on the docks in the sunshine, all bundled up writing to me. Thank you so much for that picture in my mind. I like that. I hope you are doing well and you're not tiring yourself out too much. <laughs> I try, but it's hard. The thought of uploading as many videos as you do makes me tired. <laughs> it does me too. But just think of all the gamers that upload so many more videos than I do. I don't know how they do it. And they have families, and I'm just here by myself. And it wears me out. Um, so I can't imagine how you feel. I am currently in my third and final year of university studying music performance. Nice. And even though I have lived away from home for so long, I still get very homesick and depressed. Well, I can imagine that you would. Your videos help me not feel so alone, and I can't thank you enough for that. Well, I'm so glad. I don't want you to feel alone and just come and hang out with us and chat in the comments and I'm, I, mm, a few weeks ago, my older brother, George, gave me his old gaming console. Good. Like when my son gave me his computer, when he upgraded, and gave me it, and a game, and that's how I got started gaming. Gave me his old gaming console, along with a lot of games. Oh, good. Skyrim was one of them. Oh, good. After, 
after watching your videos for so long, I am so excited to start my own adventures inspired by them. Oh, good. And let us know how, that, how it goes and what you do, how you play, what your character is like. I want to know. Have you ever been to the UK before? No, I haven't. I've never been out of the United States. I started to say, except to Hawaii, but that's part of the United States. Nope, I haven't. I have never been to the USA. In fact, I have never been outside the UK. But one day, I would definitely like to. Well, and when you said that you had been away from home for so long at university, I thought you meant maybe you lived in the states and was there at university away from home. but you live over there but you're still far away from home okay well i hope you get to come someday too if not to stay to visit and uh, if you ever do get in touch with me i'd like to meet you thank you for the company and never ending feelings of warmth that stems from your YouTube channel. Much love, Alicia. Well, thank you so much. I got this letter. And maybe someday I'll get to meet you. Who knows? And I hope you do well in university. Very nice. I love the picture that you described for me of you sitting at the docks writing this. I just, I will treasure that. Okay, that's the end of the mail. Now, I'm going to open the first box. I have two of them to open. Let's see. This is the card in the first one. It's a greetings of the season card. Isn't that pretty? This is, this is fuzzy. Dear Grandma Shirley, we wish you all the best this holiday season and in the coming year. We are so grateful to you for showing us and all of your other grandkids that games and the internet can bring joy, happiness, and a real sense of community to so many. Thank you for all the hard work that you do for all of us, Gran. That's so sweet. Best wishes from Georgia, Janice and Chris. Well, thank you so much, Janice and Chris. I appreciate this card. It's very sweet. I'm glad to know that you're some of my grandkids, too. I love getting mail. I wish more of you would send me a card. Okay, and this is what they sent me. They even put it in a little felt bad. I'll bet she made that. That's down in there. Now, this is a coffee cup to sit here and keep my coffee hot the whole time I have it because it's always getting cold. This is really cool. It probably tells me somewhere on there that I can't see right now because there's not enough light. But it probably tells me on there somewhere how many ounces this holds. But look at this. Oh, I can't even open that lid right now. But then it's got this spout. Isn't that nice? I can hardly wait to use that. It would keep me a cup of coffee hot all day, I'll bet. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Where'd my card go? That goes inside. And now, for the last box. There's two things in the box, but before I take them out, I'll read you my letter. Grandma, 
it. Look at this nice printing. Wow, I like that. Grandma Shirley, just wanted to send you a few little Christmas goodies to thank you for your wonderful videos. Ever since I discovered your videos, I have watched them faithfully. Well, thank you. It's been an awful lot of them to watch. And they always bring me joy. Skyrim is one of my most favorite games. And seeing you experience it and love it as much as I do makes me smile. Well, good. I'm quite addicted to it. You're always kind to all your followers. And your responses are always thankful and respectful. Well, thank you. There is no reason not to be kind to one another. And I hate reading people's comment sections that have such nasty, hateful, and mean comments. And I won't tolerate it in mine. I can tell how truly thankful and appreciative you are. You're a wonderful woman who I admire. Well, thank you so much. I included in your package a Funko Pop. Is that the brand name of that? Of Alduin the Dragon. Hopefully you don't already own him. No, I don't, and I've wanted him very badly. I also included a soul gem. I know you love finding and collecting them, so now you have your very own. The soul gems are extra special because they're also a soap. I probably won't use it because I won't want it to be gone. It'll just sit and be pretty. It'll probably sit on my desk like everything else. I'm going to have to get me a bigger desk. I found them on an Etsy shop, which I'll leave the name of for you at the end of this letter. Finally, I included a drawing I did of a few alchemy ingredients. Yes, and I knew what each one of them was. Just in case you're low on potions. Some snowberries, thistle, and a briar heart. I truly hope you enjoy the gifts, and it was my pleasure to give you back a little something for all the joy you give to others. Your videos are a highlight of my day, and I'm always excited to see a new video uploaded. Thank you for bringing us all joy, for just being the wonderful person that you are. I hope you have a wonderful holiday full of blessings and lots of love. Love your biggest fan, Anna Mills. I'm, I recognize her name because I've seen her lots in the comments also. The Etsy shop I found the soap in is called Amethyst Soap. And she drew some more drawings down here on the bottom of the letter. Got a Nern Root and a Battle Axe and that horned helmet. But here's a drawing she made for me of the alchemy ingredients. The Snowberry, Briar Heart, and the Thistle. Isn't that good? That's really a good drawing. Thank you, Anna. If you hadn't put anything else in the box, that would have these, these would have made me very happy. But look here, this little bag contains my own personal soul gem. I haven't taken the plastic off of it, and I might not if I leave it sitting out on my desk. But that's a dark soul gem. That's a black soul gem, and it's filled with a soul. I know. Isn't that cute? And this, the piece de resistance. I already opened. I already opened the box, and I suppose these things should stay in the boxes. Or like collector's items, I suppose, but not for me. They have to go out on my desk. Look. Isn't he wonderful? Grandma 
and her dragon. This one I shall never kill. Look at his red eyes. Thank you so much. I love him. Where am I going to set him? He's going to set right here. Very cool. Hey, he goes really well with my Daedric Prince. I wish I could show things better in front of the camera. I never know which direction they're going to be facing. <laughs> there. Look at there. I love my toys. Okay, that does it for this video. And I hope all of you had a Merry Christmas and will have a Happy New Year. I know I did. I went down to my grandkids, uh, the grandkids here in Virginia. I got them all over the country. So I don't get to be with the others very often. But this coming year, I plan to do a lot of traveling because I'm going to be going to some uh, gaming conventions. And I'm going to be visiting my sons. So I'll be gone lots. And I don't know what I'm going to do about videos. I'm going to try to keep videos made up ahead so that I can at least uh, post two or three during a week that I'm gone or something. And uh, I'm going to try to learn how to take videos with my phone when I'm at the convention so that I can show them. And uh, those will probably be put on Twitter and Facebook. So that's about all I have today. That's letting you know what's going to be going on. And I also think I learned how to use the webcam and make the picture go small, like here, this side, down in the corner, like I see on other games. And you guys have been asking me to use a webcam, and, and it isn't just because I haven't wanted to, but I didn't know how. I didn't know, I know how to use this webcam to make a vlog, but I didn't know how to make it go down tiny in that corner. So I think I learned how accidentally the other day when my son out in Washington was helping me uh, uh, set this up to use on my s s Skype because he wanted to see me on Skype and so he helped me set that up and I just accidentally clicked on something in the controls and it went down little and I, s and I was so excited <laughs> so I'm going to try it uh, on some video coming up whenever I make a game and see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> but I'm going to try and see. And I probably won't use it on every video because when I watch someone else, I kind of like to know what they look like and who they are. And then as I watch their games, I don't need to see them in that little... Uh, live picture anymore because when they're reacting I can already see them in my head how they react and and I get to watch the game more if there are pictures down there I'm always looking at them and missing the game and uh, I don't have time to watch things over again so that's kind of how I feel about using my own live cam uh, I want you to see Skyrim game. I don't want you to just sit and look at me. And I, I find it distracting. So I might use it once in a while. And besides, if you look at my vlogs, you know what I look like anyway. I know that what you're dying to see is me as I'm playing a game. So I'll do that a few times, but not every video, okay? If I've learned how to do this correctly, and I think I have. I'm going to try. So thank you for watching this vlog. These are always fun to do. So please, you don't need to send me gifts. I don't want you to spend your money on me. But if you can make things, or if you can draw, or 
just send me a letter or a note or something. I appreciate those things very, very much. So thank you for all that you've sent to me. You're very sweet. I love you all. I love the comments that I read. Everyone is so nice. And I appreciate you a lot. So that's it for this vlog. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.